Cena's Corner. All right, guys, what's going on? All right, welcome to Cena's Drum Lesson number two, which we're going to talk about making sure that your drum kit is properly adjusted for your height. Sorry it's taking so long to come up with this, but I've had so many other things going on, and uh, it's been my intention to get this out sooner, and I had a lot of questions about if I was going to do this or not. Of course, like I said, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. If you missed it, my first uh, video was on making sure you get a drum thrown. A lot of you guys took that advice, so I'm happy that you guys are all sitting happy, healthy, and properly. This video is going to be kind of the second part of that, because now that you have a drum thrown, uh, and hopefully you have the drum thrown adjusted right, Again, you should have your feet being able to play it solidly on the ground while you're sitting straight up like I am here. And if you can do that, uh, then that means your drum throne is adjusted properly. The next step is to make sure that your drum kit is also adjusted correctly. That also means to make sure that your drum throne is a proper um, length away from the drum kit so you can easily maneuver around it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut over to my drum set where you won't see me, but you see my kit. And we're going to talk about how mine is set up for my, for my height and so on and so forth. And I'll give you guys some tips on how to do that on your own kit. Alright guys, hopefully you can see my drum kit pretty well here. My drum kit is set up uh, for me. So if somebody else came that was taller than I am or shorter than I am or even the same height, this may be uncomfortable for them because it's set up just for myself. And this is how your drum kit should be set up. Now you don't have to have a drum kit like this. I'm going to tell you how to adjust all of this, but this also works for your RB2 and any of your Guitar Hero kit. I realize that the RB2 kit and the Guitar Hero kit is limited because you're only able to uh, adjust the leg to so make sure that if you're tall like I am, that you have those as far up as uh, possible. Alright, so let's begin. First of all, depending on the rack you get, it's going to be all different. So with mine, you have a centerpiece back here, which is the middle bar. And then you have, I have two side pieces here, one on this side and then one over here that's going to hold on to uh, my snare tom and my floor tom. So what you want to do is if you can see these screws here, these are actually the brackets that come with that holds my rack up. So when you put it all together, you want to put it all together first with no drums on it. And then when you get it all put together, you want to put the drums on and then that's when adjustments come into play. So what you want to actually do is sit down at your drum kit like so. And you have it all together, but then you want to bring your toms up to a height that's adjustable or that is workable for you. You don't want to have them too tall, and you don't want to have them too low. So for me at my height, they're about middle. You should be able to take a pair of drumsticks and reach out and place your drumsticks in the center like this comfortably. And you should be able to go like this comfortably, okay? This is going to let you know that these are set up properly. If you're hitting like way down here, they're too low. If you feel like you're reaching up for them, they're too high. But if you have it right on an even keel where you feel like you can rotate, then they're just right. The number one thing that kills people, especially rock band drummers that I see, is they're sitting up on a throne that's really high, and they have their drums just like way down here, and it looks like they're breaking their back. You want to make sure that these are level. Usually, uh, I say about stomach level or right at your waist level, is where that should be so maybe a little bit higher so no higher than maybe right at the, at the beginning of the bottom of your ribs um, depending on your height okay the other thing you can see is right here is my snare now I realize that some of you guys are gonna have uh, rack systems which is what this is rack systems is, com is the most common way to do your drums now but some of you guys have a snare stand and either way if you have a rack system or a snare stand this rack that this side of the rack that this rack that this tom is on or this snare is on is adjustable so you want to make sure that you unscrew that and bring that up or lower for you in my case and in any case you don't want the snare to be higher than your first tom you want it to be even or a little lower so since i use my drum kit also for rock band what i've done is mine is lower than here but I also have it tilted a little bit in so that I'm not constantly smacking the rim. So if you have it flat up, you know, right back, you get a lot of the rim. But if you have it tilted a little bit, you're not going to hit rim as much. So you might still hit it, but you're not going to hit it as much. So you should be able to do, you know, fast transitions like that and drop a stick like I just did. And still make it be comfortable. Again, the snare should be comfortable enough to where it is right up underneath here and you can make a transition from snare to tom with either stick 
and you can just go back and forth as easily as that. If you are reaching for your snare, it is too low. If you're way up here, it is too high. You want this to be as level, let's say it's with um, the, the left leg if you have a hi-hat pedal. So maybe just as high or maybe a little bit lower than what your knee is if you have it sitting on a stand or on the floor. That's where you want your snare to be. A drummer should be able to know where each part of his drum kit is without looking at it. Okay. So basically, once you have these two adjusted, the rest is going to follow suit. Because like the tom over here, the four tom over here, even though on a separate piece of the rack, still it's adjustable. So I can raise or lower this. Again, I have my floor tom at equal height or a little bit lower than what my right tom is. This is really hard to explain to you guys on camera without being there physically. But I hope you guys are all picking up what I'm trying to teach you. All right. The other thing is when you come to pedals, now you can't really see mine, I don't think my, my camera isn't that far down, I can't get it that far down, but the one thing to remember with pedal wise, now I have a hi-hat over here that is an electronic hi-hat, but it is a traditional, it's a Pentec Visual Light, so it's on a real hi-hat stand, and I have my DW5000 pedal down here, which is what I use for my kick trigger. To know if you are properly the right length away from your drum kit, you should be able to place your right foot on your drum pedal and your left foot on your hi-hat pedal and you should be able to place your feet comfortably flat on the pedal. It don't matter if you play heel toe, this is just for the, for the or heel, heel toe or heel up, this is for the purpose to make sure that you are comfortable and you, are, you have your pedal set the right distance away. If your pedal is too close, you're not going to be able to put your foot down all the way and it's going to be elevated without you even elevating it and that's improper, it's going to hurt after a while. Same with the pedal uh, or with your kick drum. So make sure you can sit down and place both feet flat on the flat on the pedals without any assistance, just putting your feet on there. And if you can do that, then you're ready to go. The other thing is, and the last thing is to make sure that your drum throne is a proper length away from your drum kit. Now, if you guys have ever looked at me play, somebody's reading and said, How come I'm so far away from my drum kit? On video, it looks like I'm a mile away, but really because I'm six foot four and a half, and I have a wingspan that's probably about just a little under seven feet or so. Basically what happens is uh, my drums have to be far enough away so I don't feel like I'm on top of them or I'm not playing like this and I'm not crunched. So I have to have a, a substantial amount of, of weight from there. So it looks like I'm far away but I can hit every drum and every cymbal just like I need to and that's what matters. If you are too close you're not going to be able to hit your drums that way. You're going to be like this, and you can be trying to hit them, but you're going to be all bunched up. This is another problem I see with rock band drummers. Everybody's all bunched up, and they're too close to their drum kit. You want to be way enough to where you can hit every drum directly in the center easily. And you can reach every cymbal, as I'm changing my Xbox Live interface here. But you can hit every cymbal without having a problem. So, if you're playing like this, you can hit... See how that works? Okay, so if you have everything adjusted properly, you're the proper distance away, your toms is where they're supposed to be, your snare is where it's supposed to be, your floor toms is where it's supposed to be, and you are comfortable, no matter what style you put your kit in, this is going to aid you in drumming. So for those of you who are really too close to your drum kit, or you're really hunched over, or you're not using a proper drum throne, and you wonder why you can't hit fast sections of songs, whether it's in rock band or playing real actual drums, this is your problem. Once you adjust this, once you push yourself back, once you get your drum kit up at the angle it should be, and right where it is where it's going to be comfortable and you can hit everything that's there, then you will be able to play those fast songs that you always wanted to with some practice. So I hope this, guy, this helped, guys. I'm sorry it wasn't. I hope it helped because I, it's really hard to explain this kind of stuff. Over a video, it's easier if I had all you guys sitting in my house and I can sit here and say, this is how you do this. But I did my best. So if you like this, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, sorry it took so long again. You know how to contact me, Cena at Cena'sCorner.com. Go visit the brand new website, Cena, uh, Cena'sCorner.com. I'm working hard on that. Still got more content to put up, but go visit that. And until the next time, guys, peace, love, and keep rocking out. And we're going to see you guys later.